Welcome back to yet again another video here on Minecraft Bedrock Edition. In today's video we are taking a look to probably the most insane overpowered obsidian farm that has ever existed on Bedrock Edition or any version of Minecraft at all to be honest. Alright so first of all this farm is a two player based farm so we have one player AFK over at the overworld and we have got one player AFKing right here. Um, at the overworld we have a zero tick bamboo farm or a cactus farm or any zero tick farm to be honest at all That way we have loads of items to dispense through our portal So we dispense our items through our portals from the overworld to here and with that being done the uh, portal uh, the obsidian platform keeps on updating we have a wither cage which is I um, think designed by GXS GXSS um, from Discord, he is someone that I used to talk to a lot, um, and this is is his tree, f uh, his wither cage that he built in his tree farm, I believe. Um, well, with that being said, um, we're gonna take a look at the redstone. Um, so, first of all, we've got our clock right here, which runs on a two tick delay. Um, uh, this is the system for our snowballs so we have our snow golem right there um, it's being pushed against the glass paint which makes sure it's still health on that block and health on this one so whenever this piston retracts it will spawn in a uh, snow pad snow carpet and then um, the piston will extend we'll break it we'll put it into our hoppers um, also we have a overflow system for this so whenever the hoppers or this hopper is being filled up this will turn on when it's getting enough single strength this will get all the way to this piston which will turn off the snowman system that way we don't have any uh, leftover snowballs laying on the ground to create any lag um, right now for the most important part is this clock right here um, so first of all before I explain that I want to give a uh, shout out to um, leaner and craft artist well also known as bio uh, for me um, they have made a design similar to this one um, but uh, they were not really sharing the info that I needed to um, start building my own as I really needed this design to work for my uh, for my gold farm that I have uh, uploaded the other day on my survival um, so I just started designing my own. Um, so this ID came from them. So big shout out to them. Um, but yeah, what this clock does, what their system doesn't have, it is that whenever the um, the wither breaks the obsidian, they time it to where this piston pushes over all the obsidian blocks, which is definitely a functional thing. But I think it. In my opinion, it powers way too much. This thing is literally going off every two or three game takes, which makes it not really laggy, but it's kind of a a reason to get lag in the first place. So this is why I have the system set up right here. I have an Ito Hopper clock with, I think it's three stacks of items. Yep, three stacks of items. And whenever this clock switches, it will get a pulse through this pulse extender, which will temporarily disable um, the damage of our wither, which makes sure that will which will make sure that our platform will just stay filled for a couple of seconds. That way, all the items can float to the top, and then we fire this one once, which means that we're powering this one like once every I don't know how long this is I I'd have to time it but yeah um, I can probably work around with those timings to make sure it's almost as close to despawn time of the items that way it's like you have like 30 seconds left to get them to our storage system or something like that I can tweak around with that because um, that's just how to make it less like friend uh, less laggy I mean um, so yeah with that being said let's just turn on the farm as you can see the bamboo is dispensed you can also hear my phone dispensing so I'm gonna turn that down right now um,
Right, one thing that I did not add yet is I have to add another of these sand pushers on this block right here because these obsidian blocks would just get pushed straight into the glass block or not being pushed at all. Um, but that's something I'll work on when I'll do the tutorial of this farm. Now we kind of have to wait till this clock runs out. I'm going to skip ahead and uh, I'll show you guys what happens when the clock turns off. And before I forget, this is the system that I'm using in my gold farm to convey your, my mobs into my uh, kill chamber as well. The only difference is, is that I'm using a sticky piston with a stair instead of just a piston. But anyway, I think we should almost be there, yeah. Just a couple more items and then we should be seeing the result. Um, also the storage system, this is obviously not going to be enough, our hoppers are going to be full immediately. So we're just, if you want to build this, you're going to have to have a uh, larger storage system than this. And just do it with water streams. My account on my phone just, my phone just died, so it will probably leave any second now, but uh, it's no big deal. And there we go. All the items besides these on this side have been dispensed through. Uh, it's obviously not turning on right now because my phone is not loading up the overworld which I'm gonna do right now. There we go. So as you can see it works great. Um, it's really really ridiculously fast. I'm not sure about the rates. Um, that's why it will just be in the title. Um, I'll still have to do those tests. But yeah, I hope you all enjoy it. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.